They say I'm the worst. They say I need some fame. They say I'm everything they say, but we don't speak the same. They say they know my motive, but why I can't relay? Cause I ain't watch. I need everybody to go ahead and comment and see that you from the chat. Why they looking at my back though? Talking with no action while they flipping through these apps though. All these mama class don't even recognize. Thinking that they know me but don't know the man <coughs> Now they talking about another man Why you do the things that you do Easy, cause I gotta right, do right. for me Mike No, check, I ain't gotta do for you I see you pocket watching, bet you gon' see what this do I'm yeah. right they like with it, fuck your respect with it People fuck. will play you and act like they suited It's mine's looking right when they hop in your face Straight up. You know what's manic and challenge, Pinocchio status The way people move and be fake I stay uh. on my hustle so much, I stay in my lane I stay in my profit, I would say please But look at the fuck out my way, now straight to my way Before you say something, it's fuck what you say I don't owe you shit, so we do not relate Tryna relax, I just fuck, double nigga. my weight Having my cake and I'm eating it too Nigga, I'm hungry, keep your eyes on your plate Straight up. If you gon' wanna throw your bread in the lake oh, All of the next chat, let me know, let me know, let me know Happy 4th of July, happy 4th of July Happy 4th of July, let's get right to this so one thing about me you know as soon as we hop on this year we get straight to the money so in the chat right now right in the chat right now what i want you to do is go ahead and comment straight to the money if you're here and you're active once again in the chat right now uh right here right now what i want you to do is go ahead and comment straight to the money all right so starting off we're going to start once again with that young dxy the reason i like that is because, uh, because dollar is a very strong um you know indication of uh you know what's really going on inside the market you know what i mean uh i use it as a powerhouse it's something that i love you know you guys always see me mark up the dollars so that's what i'm going to do starting off make sure you spam that like button too because youtube loves when you smash the like button all right so if you're here and you're active make sure you go ahead and smash that like button so looking at the dollar right you've been seeing dollar uh push up 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 okay you probably been wondering oh what's been going on so if you've been listening to, you know, uh, the marketplace and, you know, what's really been going on, uh, basically, we're expected to have like two uh, different uh, hikes and interest rate hikes in uh, by 2023. All right. Now, I'm not going to go super into detail with that per se, but, you know, just off of some of that news, a lot of people got happy and I'm figuring that the market, you know, rallied up around this area right here. All right. So, we, you know, we had NFP Friday. That's now farm payrolls, unemployment numbers, et cetera, et cetera. OK. Also, another reason that the dollar was rising, you got to think, you know, people are spending a little bit of money. Um, you know, the covid virus has passed not all the way, but it's basically passed. Right. So people are back getting active, um, spending money and just doing, you know, the normal activities that people do, you know, people activities. So looking at the dollar. Right. All right, so we had our we had our spike up to the top side. There's some har uh, harmonics going on too, but I'm not even gonna go all the way into that. I'm gonna go right to the four. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pick out this little liquidity zone for retest. All right, so 91.4 or 91 uh, 91.8 between 91.4 and 91.8. That's the area you can see dollar coming and retesting too on the daily. That's how it looks. All right, on the daily, that's how it looks. So I feel like the the bears are gonna continue throughout the week and then maybe give us some range around you know 91.8 and 91.4 um, 91 just in between that area you know up and down getting it popping like that you dig so okay next we're gonna go ahead and slide the gold that's like i said that's what i look at when i look at the dollar yeah you know we could just fade you know fade right back and keep smacking you know to the top side and get up to 93 but you know it's gonna have to show us that uh, week is gonna have to open up and then get it cracking like this. So what this is is a weekly analysis All right, so a lot of people, you know, what's Forex on Sundays is when I look at the market and do my overall perspective for the week The entire week, all right, so I give you a general direction of where the market is going for the week um, Indexes if you want to go ahead and check the history of those just you know Rotate back through these uh, these weekly analysis over the years and you'll be all right. All right So let's get it like that Let's get it like that. So for gold, right? What's dope about gold is we got gold breaking structure right now and we got gold popping in this little liquidity zone. And, you know, it's not just liquidity. It's also called demand. OK, without this rectangle here, you could throw a line there or a trend line and it's support as well. So it's different, a few different ways to look at this. You know, a lot of people, they got their own different perspectives on, you know, how they read the marketplace and things like that. Me personally, you know, shit, I like to look at this thing super quick and easy, you know, um, 
make it make sense and then make my move but we got price moving out of gold so we got dollar moving to the downside then obviously metals and the price of metals should be going up if the price of metals continue going up we're going to end up at about 1854 so that's like the uh what is that 1854 I'm trying to count it uh, I'm trying to count it so 20 like a 60 dollar gain 60 70 dollar gain in gold all right so yeah, we could move to the downside, but once again, it's going to have to show us that. I feel like, you know, this the daily price is kind of high. Um, when the week opens up, prices will kind of get a little bit lower. And the reason I'm saying kind of get lower is because that's usually what it is. You know, the market always pulls back before it moves forward. It's just the bungee effect. It's what happens. It's a part of the game, and you just got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely feel, you know, we're going to get the little slight pullback to allow for other people to enter on this trend. When price does break off and metals, the price of metals go up, then we should see gold getting to about 18.54 to reiterate the concept uh, that I just told you. All right. So let's go ahead and get, get it cracking. You feel me? Let's get it cracking. Like I said, I always expect that retest. That's just the first thing uh, at the beginning of the week um, of what it is. So if anything is showing me, oh, it's looking super bullish, I always expect you know something to pull back and then continue moving in whatever direction uh, that it was supposed to be moving in. All right. So we're gonna slide over to 30. You know, we got 30 pushing for new highs. 30 is gonna probably push new highs this week. All right. Nasdaq's been making new highs. SPX has been making record highs, and I don't think US 30s you know too far from behind it. So the previous record high for US 30 was 35.141, right? Or 35.101, my bad. It's, here it is, the 52 week range right here. So 35.101. So definitely, you know, I see prices getting back towards this area. I don't feel like it's gonna do it in the full week, but you know, you know how US 30 moved. This shit could just get uh, get popping. And next thing you know, you know, we're at 35,000 and you know, prices are just making new highs. Setting up, you know, for the rest of the year. So what's dope is we're going into that third quarter, you know? Um, so that's really amazing. We're going to the third quarter, uh, first two quarters. Uh, the year has been looking amazing. So, I mean, I'm expecting the same results. I'm expecting the same results over the next two quarters. You know what I mean? All right. Now, finding you an entry, because fuck just talk about it, right? So, nice little buy limit around what? 34,608. It's a possibility we could come down there possibility would come down there for a retest uh, even deeper retest is like 34 544 right if you got to get in for a quick buy because 30 move however the fuck you want to so you got to play that shit both sides like it's like a boxing match like you got to plan oh i'm gonna do this and then the market be like the fuck out of here swing two at you and then you got to duck them you know what i'm saying so it's like you really have to come in with your game plan or the, the other option if we just get busy and 30 open up and just push regardless of what the pullback is and they don't follow the nature you know what i mean then you got to start getting cracking at uh what's that like 34 8, 6, 7, it's off the hour and just let that bitch ride and we be moving all right so i showed you where the uh where the buy limit was and a buy limit is just where price is coming to retest all right so i'm expecting this thing to come on down before it moves you know higher in price all right simple market nature simple market nature once again smack that like button smack that like button too i know you guys enjoying your fourth right now so i can keep you here all day i'm not gonna keep you here all day we're gonna get in here we're gonna get out of here you feel me on your uh in the, in the comments say in here and out of here in here and out of here in the comments say in here and out of here you feel me let's get it so now we slide to nasdaq once again same type of same type of nature same type of results i'm always expecting to pull back before the push forward right nasdaq nasdaq <laughs> nasdaq been smacking these new highs right it's at record highs as well so price should continue we had that last daily you know um really just looking very strengthening uh an engulfing candle if you know how to read your candlesticks if you guys want to turn this into a different type of chart like a line chart cool you know if you're just looking at this like a heart monitor the next thing you know you're like hey fuck it you know this line keeps looking like it's moving to the top side slide the trend like this boom that trend is moving to the top side baby so however you want to do it like i said a thousand people look at the market you know in different perspective everybody has their own perspective and pair of eyeballs it's about how you you know how you do your thing but me like i said i feel like you know we possibly get that pullback 200 points is possible that's a uh, 14591 so you can have buy limits sitting around that area for a retest price pull back for a quick buy limit then we push forward if we got to keep pulling um uh 14750 14750 for buy stop 
and you just run that shit. You got to just keep moving with the bulls. But, I mean, this thing has been trucking all year. You know what I mean? So, really, you should have been placing your buys in all year for the last two quarters. Now, we're moving into this third quarter and the fourth quarter. I feel like we will be breaking record highs in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So, just stay tuned. Stay tapped in. And we're going to motherfucking eat. You know the vibes. Let's get it. So, now, slide into SPX. SPX 5 at record highs, baby. And you already know the vibes with that, too. Okay, so obviously you're like, man, you know, there has to be an end. It's just bulls, 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 bulls. And th yeah, that's that's extremely correct. Um, you know, a lot of investors, they're looking at this and they're like, well, I'm not trying to just go in and buy because the fucking price is, is extremely high, right? So a lot of them are going to be looking to short this down to sell, right? While the prices are uh, a little bit high, just expecting the price to pull back a little bit, you know, before it pushes forward. Just, you know, simple once again, simple nature. So, uh, you know, how that works. Uh, what is this? Uh, forty three twenty one off the five. You could slide that, and yeah, forty three twenty one might be that little area. Then the next one is forty three oh eight. So forty three twenty one to forty three oh eight for buy uh, for buy limit for limit orders. You know what I mean? Or some people they're gonna try to figure out how to um, how to slide that joint on a different time frame, like the five minute or something like that, and try to scalp it down. Uh, you know, this is just when market opens up. All right, but like I said, in here and out of here, baby, in here and out of here. We're not gonna waste no time. I want you guys to enjoy your fourth. I'm about to go enjoy my fourth, but you know, I'm not gonna just have you here and and not you know spread the knowledge. I know I've been doing my thing for a minute, but you know, we about to keep on vibing, baby. Keep on vibing, baby. All right, so German thirty. Now German thirty, you see a lot of consolidation and or volume, you know, to the top side, right? Make this thing look a little bit smaller. We still got price moving to the top side. So the only thing we're chilling in is a little bit of consolidation. So in the chat, if you follow me, just say, we're just chilling in consolidation. All right? In the chat, all I say is we're just uh, chilling in consolidation. You said that I get my play button yet? Uh, it's, it should be on the way. I have it soon. It'll be up on the wall soon. I appreciate you guys for helping me get there, but I was really saving the video for when I got the plaque, and then I was going to do the thank you video, you know, because... I just felt it was right to do it with the with the word thing right there and shit. You know, like a little ceremony, you know. But we're gonna get it popping. So German thirty, right? German thirty. We know obviously you see price was pushing up the uptrend and then it got uh, caught in this value up here. Not to say that that consolidation and this little rise of this little value isn't pushing to the top side, right? So slowly, 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 you got price trying to move to the top side. We're gonna go to the four and see if we can find entry. All right. You might be able to get a buy limit in at 1548 15 548 sorry about that 15 548 get a little buy limit in think boom a little bank shot and we move moving on up i know it doesn't look like it's going you know how it's going but once again we just you know change it to a line this line is still going up regardless if this motherfucker is you know ugly on the way up it's still moving up baby all right let's get it let's get it switch back to those candles switch back to those candles just showing you the simplicity of this. It shouldn't take you, you know, um, a thousand minutes to get in here. You said, I got exposed. Nigga, exposed by who? How did I, if I got exposed, then why the fuck am I still here? Why do I continue to produce results um, day after day, year after year? Stop playing with me and stop playing with my name. You feel me? And if I got exposed, then why are you even on my live listening to me give out free information for people who want to eat and make money for free like I've been doing? Go check my history. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why y'all trolls come on here talking y'all mess. You know I love the trolls and shit. But today, the fourth, I don't got the energy. You feel me? I'm trying to get in and out of here. All right? In and out of here. So next, going to the pound, right? Going to the pound. All right? So we're going to go ahead and go to the daily. Super simple. You can go ahead and check out the liquidity over here in the daily. If you don't know what liquidity is, then what you need to do is go to, um, you know, Investopedia and go to the glossary and look up the term liquidity and see what liquidity is. And then that's what's going to put you on game with, you know, how to get your, uh, you know, how to get your mind right and shit like that. Just because you know what the fuck we talking about. So it won't sound like I'm talking in scientific terms and stuff confusing you like, oh, no, I got the glossary right here. You know what I mean? So. We get a cracker like that. So right now we on the pal though. You feel me? Right now we on the pal. I'm gonna show you this uh, liquidity, this value right here. There's three ways to do this, right? You could either just look at it and see it's there, like I looked at it, see it was there. You could put a rectangle, and there's a tool over here that allows you to grab a rectangle. When you put a rectangle, you can call it whatever you want. It's a simple rectangle with a shadow box. But some people call it, you know, liquidity. Some people like this, call this value. You know what I mean? And this is a lot of value and liquidity. And some people just come over here and throw a simple little trend line on it like that. You know what I mean? So we're going to slide this trend line right here. 
and then put another one right on top. They make themselves SNR support and resistance. And then super simple, you know, you just found yourself a range. So you can have fun with that range, trade, trade that range. If you don't know what trading a range is, then once again, you can go, you know, to Investopedia or something like that, one of those websites that have the glossaries and, you know, look up what uh, trading a range like that, all right? I expect dollar to die off a little bit, lose a little bit of steam. And if that's the case, then what I'll do, right? Probably be a nice little buy and just ride this thing all the way up. I don't know if we go go all the way up to 140, but 139 is a string, uh, extremely cool possibility. All right. So finding you an entry, uh, do 38,350. All right. That's like nine pips up from the current price. 38,350. That is nine pips up from the current price. And uh, go ahead and write that. When market open up, just slide back. You may be able to get you a buy limit in around the 37.9 area, 37.8 area. And uh, that's where you're going to be able to go ahead and eat at. All right. You said where to get the Forex dues. You could go to Forex Factory, buy a FX book. Shit, you just type in Forex dues. And there's going to be so many different websites that pop up that, you know, it'll be right there. And what you're looking for is a Forex economic calendar. All right. Forex economic calendar. All right. So Bitcoin, I had Bitcoin marked up out of one of those li uh, liquidity zones. Um, I gave out, I, you know, guys, you guys know I got the little TFX signal group. And for that shit, too, um, I got a promo. Um, I'm going to do 25 percent off on a website. You feel me for not everything, but just a little uh, TFX part. You feel me? I'm going to do 25 percent off. You just go ahead and type in July 4th you know, any of those packages and then you'll be good. You know what I'm saying? Good to go. Just type in July 4th, all caps, not 4th the word, just the number 4 and then TH, you know, you'll be good. All right. But um, Bitcoin, um, this shit was simple. We already know the price of Bitcoin is low. We already knew where it was at. Seen the shit banking off the bottom uh, and price basically cutting up to the upside. I'm thinking Bitcoin to get to 36, maybe 38,000 this week, 36, 38,000 this week. Um, especially if we just continue the bulls right now. Currently, we're just chilling in consolidation. That's this right here. So we have to break out of there in consolidation. Anything could happen. Price could come down and retest 34,848 and then push to the top side or just break the fuck out of here and go right to the target. All right. So what you need to do is be patient and wait. Once again, I gave you um, the buy limit for the Bitcoin, which was 34, what was that, 848. And I said, price, get down there, boom, bank shot. And then, you know, price should uh, go ahead and continue moving to that top side. All right. Let's get it. Right, it did Euro USD boom. Like you got that faded to the uh, to the upside too. All right. Although this could just be a sharp fake out in the retest. All right, but we're gonna play it for what it is. What we could do is go ahead and throw some chopsticks on here, trend lines. Now a lot of people they hate these trend lines. Oh, the trend lines, the trend lines. Well, you know what's dope about uh, what's dope about Trading View, right? is they give you a multitude of tools that you can use at your disposal. So if you don't like a certain tool, then you personally don't have to use that certain tool, okay? But uh, it's there. They give you a lot of different options, actually. You know, you click right here, and, you know, it's a whole thing that comes up with so many different tools that you can use to just look at the market and analyze and scope because everybody, once again, has a different perspective, all right? So... Looking at the dollar, right? We got price chilling at this support area. All right, now, when you are using, if you are using the trend lines, then you know the top is resistance and the bottom is support. Everybody knows that, all right? We got support. We got some volume right here, all right? So I feel like, you know, with the dollar retesting and pulling to the downside, then Euro USD is going to go ahead and get up to about 119, 500. That's like 100 pips, all right? Now, finding you an entry, we we'll just wait, get you in at like, do like 20 pips, so... You get in at like 18, 8.30. That'd be solid for you. 18, 8.30. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, so you don't have to take none of this advice. All right. You could do whatever you want to do. I would always suggest you to go do your own research, look up and mark up your own charts, your, do your own analysis, and then you go ahead and take your own risk. You dig? 
So let's get it like that. Let's get it like that. Now to slide to the next chart. Oh shit, we already knocked out all of these. <laughs> hey, see, that's what I'm saying. It don't take no time. But like I was saying, I was gonna get you in here and out of here quick. It's the fourth, right? It's the fourth. So I don't even want to waste no time. We could be partying and jamming and doing all that. But right now, we're just going to get you in and in here and out of here. So what I want y'all to do right now in the chat is type in and out, in and out. Right now in the chat, in and out. Feel me? So what, what are we going to next? We're going to mark up that UCAT. We're about to mark up that UCAT, dollar cat. All right? Now, you see this shit just dying off. It's matching DXY. DXY is looking like it's bleeding right on the daily. We got US CAD looking like it's bleeding on the daily. I feel like price is going to continue moving to the downside. Why would price continue moving to the downside? The trend is your friend, ladies and gentlemen. First thing we're doing and that have done is got to this first little area right here of, uh, of uh, consolidation or um, you know liquidity once we blow past that I feel like price to keep chucking all the way down about 120 again and right now the price is 123 but once again like I said I feel like price keep coming down about 120 all right looking at the daily so we got some divergence chilling right here bam all right so if that shit keep coming we could end up about 120 121 about this area go back in that little liquidity zone we already had the dollar or US CAD, this entire you know structure just bleed into the downside off the rip. That was already, you know, the chart regardless. So I mean just reading it regardless, we we're already there. So what looked like happened was price came down, made a lower low, right? Came back for big ass pullback, big ass pullback, like a tidal wave. And now it looked like it's about to drop back through. But once again, um trade what you see, okay? Trade what you see, but that's what I see. Okay, so now to go ahead and find some entries, right? So we're gonna slide to this for hour real quick. All right, I would get you in underneath this structure, but that's too much. So we'll wait. Like 122.853 would be solid. That's like 30 pips down, you feel me? But that's gonna let the market open up and move. And we talk about some weekly shit, so if I'm expecting price to drop a little bit, like your risk to reward gonna be amazing when price does get on down to that 121 area, you know, if it gets down to 120 area or with dollar pulling back. All right, all right, all right. Somebody said Aussie dollar. All right, we go check out Aussie dollar. We go check out that Aussie dollar. We go check out that Aussie dollar. So you see a big ass pullback on that Aussie dollar right now. Look like a big ass double bottom is trying to form. But beyond the double bottom, we got some harmonics going too. So price at 77. That's a possibility. Alright, so I'm looking at this bitch from the daily, right? I feel like they held the rate. So if you're looking at you know what it is that you're trading, they held this Aussie dollar dollar rate at 77 and 76 for shit since december 2020 so they were holding a rate up there for a long time brought it back to the same area through um the beginning of april all the way until you know the end of june i feel like that 77 76 rate is a rate that you know um the exchange rate that people actually are very really, uh, uh, really really like and they've been enjoying it for the past year right now prices at 75 i do feel like price is going to get back right into this 77 76 area and just get back doing what it's been doing just because i mean if you look at history it's going to repeat itself yeah it got out of control over here but you know it's going to repeat itself so i feel like we're going to go right here at least and just chill for a minute you know um and great to eventually get back up there and once again this is a weekly analysis i'm looking at this off a daily chart so they're going to be pullbacks they're going to be you know push forwards all before a lot of this happens so they're going to be scalping opportunities on the way up there you know what i'm saying you just got to trade what you see and let the market do what it's going to do could we keep pushing you know and could this just lose the steam and drop it's a strong possibility and that's forex that's trading you know watch the dollar watch what's going on um read the market play your game how you play your game uh, and then get popping like that. You feel me? So that's how we gonna move. That's how we gonna move. Shit. You said silver? Fuck it. I'll go, I'll go fuck with silver. I expect metals to go up. So if I expect gold to go up, then silver should be right behind it. Yeah, silver should be right behind it. Silver gonna get back up to 27. Look at the daily, the daily strong. We got price leaving liquidity. 
volume, whatever you want to call it, support, <laughs> supply, you feel me? Or demand, my bad. You said GJ after? Shit, man, I've been doing all that. You go mark up GJ. I'm about to get up off of here. Go hop on some COD. Fuck you talking about? Feel me? Then I got the PS5 controller linked into the PC, so I'm getting a different experience. I'm just I'm tapping into my inner gamer. I'm having fun, living life. You know, we got the album about to drop, so that shit about to be wild. Uh, you know, it'd be dope. Like, I don't, well, I don't have any features on my album. It's just me. But, I mean, there's so many different styles on there. Like, I ain't really need none. You know what I'm saying? I do have features and been doing features and shit, but, you know, for my specific album, I feel like Trader Die was more so it needed to come from me because it was it's it's a lot of teaching aspects on there and people are going to be listening and taking notes you know what i'm saying so that's that and i'm not about to do gj but i feel like once again silver gonna get up to about that 27 area price is gonna keep on smashing up to the top side so um definitely we're gonna be vibing like that you know but i'm about to slide though all right if you haven't already what you need to do is this playlist I got, right? That shit called, uh, it's a Forex radio playlist. That shit vibing, you feel me? So definitely you want to tap into that. Definitely want to tap into that. Um, I'm about to go ahead. I'm going to post a few links right now in the chat, you feel me? So I'm going to tap into that. That's that Forex uh, joint right there. If you want to eat with me, you feel me? A lot of people want to tap into the signals once again. Um, the code is July 4th. You're going to get 25% off. All right, that's just for signals, though. That's it. Because people be, oh, why did you stop that? It's like, well, people, so many people are making so much money off my shit. I'm not going to keep giving out a product where obviously people are making a lot of bread. I got to charge you something. It just, it's charging it to the game. You know what I'm saying? And then you should almost respect the fact that, you know, I'm not giving this shit to you for free because you know you was eating off the shit too, you know? So that's why a lot of people be rocking with me. You know what I mean? So um i am blessing you though with that uh, with that young july 4th code you feel me and i'm about to slide all right my twitch my twitch because a lot of people want to know about the twitch that's where we get a packet over there that's the twitch or search in there on YouTube, you feel me? And then go find my other gaming channel, and then you're gonna be uh you're gonna be lit like that. Or I think I can send you guys the channel on here. Um, yeah, I think I can send you the channel on here, and then you know we'll vibe like that. But I think I've been doing good. You know, haven't been making no forex strategy videos. Not trying to fuck myself up. Just want to stay focused and just do more mindset stuff and you know speak about where i'm at and the journey because it's a long ass journey you know and as you see in some of the lives different people are at different places in their journey and i feel like it's really cool to be able to connect um just to be able to connect with everybody you know at the level you know wherever they at to help them get to you know that next level because that's how you grow you feel me that's how you grow so let me go ahead and push this in the chat right now I play PC, yeah, I play PC. Now I got, uh, now I play PS5 controller on PC. Like I said, it's a definitely, it's definitely a better experience. So, you know, I've been enjoying the vibe. Either that or I could do Xbox Series X controller, but I got the, the new controllers and shit. So, you know, let's get it. But I'm about to slide, man. Hey, happy 4th of July for everybody, uh, you know, all around the country. You know, people are celebrating in different areas of the world and stuff, but happy 4th. Um, or I think it's just us. I'm not sure. Fuck it. But, hey, look, happy 4th. Let's get this money. Have a great week. It's your boy, Ty. 